Hey y'all, we're going to go ahead and make a chicken cornbread casserole. I have four cups of chicken that I have shredded up. And to this, we're going to add a half a cup of sour cream. Then we're going to need one can of cream of chicken. All right, y'all, now we need a half a cup of milk. And we're going to add in some seasonings. We're going to add in one teaspoon of onion powder. We're going to add in one teaspoon of garlic powder. We're going to add in half a teaspoon of black pepper. Two cups of cheddar cheese. So we're going to mix this up and you're going to need a greased 9 by 13 baking dish. And once we mix this up, we're going to put this in the bottom of our baking dish and we're going to make a topping. So we're going to take this and put this in the bottom of our casserole dish and we're going to spread it out. And then we are going to begin our topping so we can get this in the oven. Now we're going to work on a topping. You're going to need one box of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. You're going to need one can of uh, cream stock corn, three tablespoons of melted butter, and one egg. Okay. And then we're going to mix this all together. If everybody can please remember to like and share, that would be greatly appreciated. The link for the cookbook will be above this post and below this post, and you can get yourself a copy of that. Once we get this stirred up really well, we're going to go ahead and layer this on the top of our chicken, and this is going to be our cornbread topping. So this is what it looks like, and we're going to go ahead and pour it across the top of our casserole. We're going to spread it evenly across the top, and we're going to bake this at 400 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Get it all out, and we're going to spread this. All right, y'all, I just took it out. It was in there for 28 minutes, so about 20 8 to 30, you can leave it in there, and mine's completely done. Again, all ovens vary, so it only took me 28 minutes. So I'll dish them out so we can see what it looks like on the inside. All right, y'all, so I dished some out, and this is what it looks like. So give this a try. If anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. The link for the cookbook will be above this post and below. And again, it was at 400 degrees, and it only took me about 28 minutes. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day.